Give you C, D, E, F, G, ring of pain. Where do I, I feel like I live here on ring of pain. There we go. We'll kill that. Do that. Pop out chat. I feel like I am forgetting something here. Hey, thank you, uh, Jiho. Have a good one. Have a good one. Okie doke. So let's see. So we are we officially we're officially live on YouTube. We've got we're live on Twitch, and I think our stuff should be changed. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Uh it is, yes, that is a an issue that we're gonna be dealing with probably for the next couple weeks. As the as Windows, when I swapped my sound devices. Yes, there is meta progression in Ring of Pain, for sure, uh, Chris, for sure. All right, let's see. So we've done that. We've got peeps here. I think we're good. You guys can hear it now, right? Uh, no, you can't. Okay, we need to quit out and come back in because some games don't respect Windows uh, sound stuff if you didn't enter into it. Well, achievements generate meta progression, though, which unlocks new uh, new items. So, okay, now I think we're good to go. Okay, cool beans. Let's, uh, let's see. Make sure this is... All good. All right. It's been a minute since we Ring of Pained. It's been a minute since we've Ring of Pained on, uh, on stream live. So let's take a look at the collection and try and remember what some of the achievements we might want to, uh, we might want to look at are. So we still need to die about 40 more times. We'll get there eventually. We could do like a divination run and try and do that. Uh, destroy 20 equipped items in one run we still haven't done. Kill the ancient ice beast when it's extra defendy. Complete a run without entering any special dungeons. Use only black exit. This is a particularly hard one. I, I have tried this one a few times. Uh, with limited success. We might want to try Tunnel Vision. I, I've been wanting to get a Tunnel Vision win. Uh, rare epic items, epic or legendary items, no body, heads, head, legs, feet, or complete a run with five or less max HP. Let's, uh, let's try, let's start out with a Tunnel Vision run. I, my temptation for Tunnel Vision is to go with something that we know isn't too gear demanding which might be like a lantern of the ox normal run we don't need a lot of gear so let's uh let's try it out this way and see let's see what we get offered Corruption is minus 30% curse resist. So we'll do we'll do boots. Boots give us some some interesting options. We probably want to sink all of our all of our stuff into attack here. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to activate the boots so that we can get a kill on that. There we go. Waste not, want not. See what else we get offered. Uh, eyeballs is pretty good just because it gets us some clarity. We could potentially look at doing that as well. Uh, let's see. Prismatic isn't bad. I think I'd rather get our defense up early here. 
rather than rather than taking the clarity. I don't think the clarity is that important to us. Sure, nullify poison is fine. A marrow, the pain, the ring of pain specifically. Uh, I'd rather see what what we got going on here. Uh, let's uh, three souls on kill for uh, for the mere cost of one defense is pretty good. This early, since we're only going through black doors, I think I will do it. All right, I that didn't work out quite the way that I wanted it to, but let's see. I I would like to. I'm gonna skip over this guy because this guy is a little scarier. With these as our choices, I'll take some clarity. Uh, we we could have gotten the kill on that. Oh yeah, I I kind of love it, Mero. I kind of love it. Plus one petrify on attack seems pretty decent. All right, we won't we won't mess with that. Now we're trying to do tunnel vision, so I'm gonna. Gonna see what we can do there. This is. I do this, he gets frozen. I move like that. Alright. Cracked the code. What, what do we have over here? Alright, nobody, nobody of interest. Yeah. I got it. I got it. A uh, lot of... I'll take some speed here and clarity, but I don't love it. All right, so we, we like this because we can... This is basically free. All right, if we get the attack, we take the attack. I I am torn by this. I think we need as many items as we can get. So I'm going to grab this. Plus two poison on attack. And we get this. This is pretty decent. This this run is, uh, is feeling okay. Curse damage heals. This is pretty much just for potions. I don't really want to get rid of our poison dagger for glass glass sword because it will be short lived. And scrolls, yes, yeah, scrolls too. But I, I don't think it's I don't think it's worth. Then we can move like this, let those guys explode. Pretty, pretty solid here. Now, this guy... This guy kind of fouled us up a little bit. We have tons of potions, though, so I think we just take the... We take the hit. We take speed. We take speed. I think we're going to take this just to keep trying to get items. Chugging mask is interesting. We have we have like two or three potions available right now that I think will offset chugging mask. Yeah. All right. Good chugging mask value there. I think we'll keep we'll, we'll ignore hex. Yeah, binding was also good, but I think I think chugging mask, I think we're because we're on a high defense run, like we might as well. The 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 cruel wishful. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Oh, all right. Never punished. 
for the two kills. We're, we're rocking the gloves, so there's a lot of opportunity here, and I figured I could just grab this in its place. Detonate isn't terrible. Fifty-two percent, I don't think, is enough to to roll the dice on that one. Inflict ten poison on yourself on equip. Big yikes! There, we'll roll this. One additional treasure card and two health feels pretty good. Yeah, and we don't we don't roll the dice on that. I love the item sets, Marrow, but that's around the time I started playing. So it it's it's kind of the only way I I I have experienced the game is with item sets. So it kind of uh it's kind of hard for me to evaluate. Uh yikes. Let's see. So Hitting harder is good, but I, I really like them. I can't imagine the game without them, if that is uh, any indication. Okay. We're going to have a hard time getting chugging mask value here, I think. I think. I think damage is more important. Pick up another defense. Yeah, that's fine. Plays well with plays well with chugging mask. I think soul spill would have been a little hard to to leverage. I don't I don't really want to. Oh. I feel like there there are better ways to to spend it. Uh, heals five on dungeon exit, and it comes with three health. Slime cell I think is gonna work wonders for us. Yeah, I, I think that is definitely true. Ooh, neuron sight. Yeah, I think we'll take that for six defense. All right, so so far so far so okay. Our tunnel vision quest is going somewhat fine. <sighs> Strength leech. So so shield I don't love. Uh, reflect five on parry is just going to mean that things blow up on us sometimes, which is hard to predict. I think strength leech is okay here. I like I like the health and I like the defense. Ooh. He roasted me pretty good there. Um, all things being equal, we'll do that. We we still haven't used Slime Cell, so I think... Do we bother using it now on this? Eh, yeah, I think... At least we got value out of it. Um, can we save? Can we afford to save right now? Our gear looks decent. We could also, if if we got that poison necklace again, uh, we don't. I don't know that we really want it. Think we save? All right. Yeah, we're we're pretty stable. We'll we'll save. Reflect damage when hit. <sighs> I feel like being able to move past exploders is pretty darn important. And three is in that sweet spot of it's really gonna foul you up. I think we I don't think we don't I think we don't take it. That was that was a tough choice though.
Okay. That went that went pretty well. Speed is tempting here. We can get a we can get some value out of chugging mask. So I'll, I'll grab it while we can. Four more damage is also really good. I think I like I think I like the the speed breakpoint more though. Create an exit doesn't do us any good. Entangle doesn't do us any good. Okay. No epic chest here. Full heal seems like the safe take. Maybe ensnare though. Ah, eh, ensnare has some interesting applications. I did indeed, Stefan. So here's uh really quickly. This is what it looks like, and this is where chat is. So I am reading your message, and I am looking at you. Creepy, right? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Let's see. All right, we'll save. We'll save again. I feel like I feel like I'm saving a little too much, but we'll see. Okay, we're not gonna get. This guy's kind of awkward. We're going to be able to come back to this and get the healing off of it. I was a little, a little more spooky than I was necessarily expecting, but... Yeah, I, I expected us to fully top off there, which is a little, a little overly ambitious. I'll take the plus two here. The key is huge. <laughs> the creepy the creepy talk is the key, right? All right. Let's see. We will So, no no kill here. Now we have enough to to afford this. So I think we I think we do like that. I think we buy this and save the key for an epic. Whoa. Fractal, that's a lot. Uh icy touch I think is pretty clutch here. Yeah. I think I think this gives us some good flexibility. Like right off the bat, it gives us a kill that we otherwise didn't have. Now, this heals for 10. So if this works, then we get a free hit point out of this. It's less than 50-50, though. Let's... And, and if we do this, we end up on 1, we end up on 11. All right. We, we risked it for the biscuit. I think, I think it was worth the, worth the risk. And then... Since we have the key, I'm going to I'm going to go a little hard just trying to fill out our gear slots. Passing blockers for 2 HP feels pretty good. Plus 3 damage to poison creatures. Also interesting. I think passing blockers though is a lot of utility for us. Gives us gives us a lot of flexibility. Ah, uh, reflect 2. Uh, no, we, we just picked up something else that is better. Uh, dark leather doesn't work for us. So. Let me think here. So I think, I think we need to bum rush this guy or he's going to eat us for breakfast. So I take this, this guy will detonate, then I shift over left one, and I think I'm good. Do that. Do that. Kill you so we have some flexibility. Okay. Feeling feeling good. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is. 
We have some souls for rerolls. Souls for rerolls. Devolve creature on attack. Don't don't love it. Double healing restores double the effect, but we lose pass blockers. I think we can do better than these. It's a lot of stats though. With soul stealers, isn't devolve good? So, I mean, we lose, it means we get four, it means we get four souls per, per devolve, right? So it, it offsets some of the other stuff, but I don't think it's that, I don't think it's that transformational. It does mean that we stay at 80, which means we can pick up a purple. Ah, let's roll the dice. I mean, six health is a lot of health. You're 20 speed. I think we do this. Yeah, evolving is a is a whole different a whole different animal for sure. I don't I don't think we mess with this dude. We're just we're just not hitting hard enough. We might we might uh devolve him. Are we going to spend our key on a non on, on an epic is the other question. So we can we can freeze hit hit. All right, let's let's roll the dice. Why did this refresh so quickly? Do we have something that reduces our refresh time? All right, 11 souls feels pretty good. Uh, I think, I think Soulcraft, we'd have to give up a key. Spend key for Soulcraft, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. But then before we do that, I'm going to pick up Soulcraft. Now, is there something on Soulcraft that we want to Soulcraft right now? We can Soulcraft Dark Pact. Slime ate the book, transformed, and returned the book. That is, that is amazing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, eight extra damage to rent. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take extra onion suit. Does it, why does it have nothing? It doesn't usually have nothing, does it? I feel like extra onion suit. Oh, the stats must cancel out. It has like plus eight to one and minus eight to one. That's really funny actually. Uh, okay. Stats cancel out. That's, that is pretty funny. So wait, heal three for every negative point of clarity on dungeon exit. So we'd get three healing off this. I don't think we need it. Uh, we'll grab extra onion suit. And then we want to we want a tunnel vision, so we're gonna go here. Yeah, that's it's really funny the way that that works. Let's see. So these guys are these guys are hitting hard. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's see. So I can run away from this guy. I feel like every time I take hermit pockets, terrible things happen. But maybe, maybe that's just me. Ah, so okay. So we we can do this, but then we're really if we if we roll poorly, we're in really bad shape. Is 
Is, is there a better option here? This is spicy. So if I move here and I hit once, I think I move here, I hit once. Okay, the advantage now is that this can't kill me and then I guaranteed have Icy Touch. Is there any way that I can force you to detonate? Yeah, I can take this to force you to detonate. But then, then I, I lose the four hit points that I have. Um, how hard am I hitting? It would be nice for this guy to kill this guy. But this is a 50-50 to take me down to one. And then I don't think we have a way to get past this guy. So I think I need to do this. Now, I hit this guy for 9, 2, and 2. And then if I move away, he dies. Okay. Now, are you hitting me for anything? Oh, that was kind of unfortunate. Okay, but getting the getting the healing potion is good. All right, that was a little that was a little rocky, for sure. Let's uh let's see. For every negative point of clarity, no, we don't need that. Soul cannon, also no. Uh, okay, attack on pass, or we could pivot to collector's disguise and just get five more. I the poison I think is is helping us. Uh, attack on pass is is a bit complicated, I think, for us. So I feel like it's collector's disguise. Hey, Zaykar. Uh, it is uh, it is a very interesting game. I think. I think. Attack on pass is interesting. It's free hits sometimes, but I don't think it's great here. So I think we'll go we'll go collector's disguise. And then. We really need we really need a potion. But we're gonna stick with the tunnel vision vision. Tunnel vision vision. Okay, the fact that the fact that he killed himself was phenomenally lovely. Uh, man, we're not getting lucky on uh, on those. We are not getting lucky on those. We're not gonna get we're not gonna get this guy either. I think passing blockers remains important. Soulcraft Disguise is a good call. Opens up. It opens up the slot and it also gives us access to this. Now, let's see. You. Okay. All right, let's let's see what let's see what we got going on here. 
<sighs> Knock back the next creature on pass for four and four. I don't think that's great. Uh, we gain... Extra Onion has been interesting, but I do think the health here is big and the defense is big. And the this will only continue to scale. So I think I'm going to grab Stack Play. Onion Suit is our damage. Uh, I mean, it is some of our damage, but I don't know. I, I do think that this could get us scaling a lot as we start to over... Uh, as we start to overcome the minus defense. Freezing creature when hit is pretty good. All right, those boots, those boots do help. Uh, but again, we're, we're coming up on the end of the run and we haven't really come up with a plan here. Poison transfer is a no. Berserker relic. Well, we can't afford them, so let's not let's not get too concerned. Gulp. Oh, <laughs> horrible. Uh. We're going to have a really hard time here. Um, yeah, I think we need to leave. <laughs> we, we can do that, which at least buys us some time. I don't think we can swap our boots. How bad are you guys? That's 80%. Now, one thing I, I don't actually know is if this guy becomes unfrozen. Also, what's up with all these cursed scrolls? This is, like, upsetting. Okay, so attack strain creature stat based on your negative stats. Not really interesting. Yeah, this guy got out of control way too fast. Uh, Soulcraft, maybe. All right, so he did not, and we have a we have another freeze. So you're worth thirty nine souls. So if we hit you. For basically nothing. You would take you would take eight damage. So you would take nine plus one, ten plus two plus one, thirteen. Then we could freeze you again and do it again. There's no reason we don't take this. These curse scrolls are really driving me up the wall uh i will say he hits for 40 <laughs> yes he hits us for 40 is is the number that it was predicting before he has 47 attack um so we can't take a hit so the question is is do we get the kill if we hit then hit then freeze then hit then run like, he can't kill us. We can run around in circles forever. But... But it, it wastes a lot of opportunity value. So, so let's... Okay, so we said... We said 13 twice is how much damage we do. Yeah, it's not enough. Okay. Bah humbug. Alright, I guess we just get out of here. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk the curse scrolls. Why, why are you not attacking me? I am faster than you. Wow. That was, that was unexpected. Ah, 
Gosh darn it. The the devolve con continuously putting uh putting these guys into our uh into our way is really annoying. Okay, so if we parry, we still get intimidated. So I need to I need to freeze him if I want to kill him. Might as well grab those. Oh, we're going to have a hard time with these swamp creatures. Oh, that was bad. Oh, uh, those were all bad. This is a terrible room for us. We can't we can't really risk that. Yeah, plague bearers are tough. Is there anything we just want to get rid of here? We could get rid of D Dark Pact. I don't know that... I mean, it would be good if it devolved one of these guys, but... Gosh darn it, I need to stop doing that. I think I take the purple. Past cards get intimidated 60%. Almost kind of works. Heal three on attack when below 25 health. Could be good. Let's grab Mimic Friend, though. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I needed to be smarter about using the Icy Touch to kill this guy. Because we're losing a huge amount of value here. Do we have anything that we don't care about? I think Dark Pact, I think we get rid of. And we take Upgrade. And then... We, we break into so much value if we get either of these guys killed. But I, I think I think we die trying. Because if we hit this guy, like I want to go over and see this, but then this guy ruins our fun. Um, uh, he applies four poison. And I think we kill him in one hit and then run away. No, I think it's two hits and then run away. So he's going to stack up 8 poison which literally kills us. Is this potion cursed as well? What what type of potion is that? Uh, okay, no. Okay, I, th I think this is what we do. I think we bum rush him, hit, hit, drink, potion, kill. Okay, we're committed. That worked out. And I think it was worth it. We hit this guy a lot less hard than I was thinking we would. I think Onion Suit might have saved us there big time. All right, but that means we get the legendary chest, which I think all by itself is potentially worth it. Phase friends? I really don't think phase friends are all that great. Although this is like a net four defense and it gives us teleportation. All right, I think it's worth it. All right, level 15. Another freaking play bear. Oh my god, the phase friends are are out of control at the moment. I think we need damage. Okay, I want 
I want this guy to blow up on this guy. To do that, I need to take this unstable tome, which is probably worth taking. We lose the Petrify, we lose a bit of defense, but it means that we have, we get a near kill on this guy, and we get to use Icy Touch every turn. Because if we move right, we lose, we lose value. I guess we could have declined it if we wanted to. That was the other option. We could have clicked it and then declined it. But I'm, I'm still feeling okay about that choice. Oh, don't, don't take those hits. Well, we may need to take those hits, because this is not... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play Touch of Chaos. Ugh. Unstable Tome is so risky. I don't know. I, I think it's... If you pick it up late in the run, I don't think it's too bad. Let's see. We'll do... Boop. Boop. I'm feeling like Unstable Tome was, was a good decision for us. Freeze and Ensnare front cards. Would have been great if Icy Tome had just destroyed itself, but as it is, this is not a very big difference maker. Attacks targets get randomly teleported. I think we learned the hard way that this does not teleport exploders uh, until after they explode. So let's let's roll the dice. Don't think we can afford to let Freezing Aura go. I, I don't think we take either of these. Ascension feels really tough to say no to, but I think we're I think we're better off. Like we we no longer have a transform synergy. So Changeling Crown is not going to generate anything for us. And I think the Neuron neuron Sight is better because it gives us view of the battlefield. And Ascension is going to be like 6 Petrify. It's not moving the needle. I mean, there, there definitely was an argument. I, I don't think it was a, a super strong argument, though, unfortunately. Okay. I don't want to do anything until I have done that. Okay. We're off to the races. Lots of potions. We still have past blockers, which I'm thrilled about. Conduit. After spell you, steal 30 soul damage to a random creature. Conduit plus plus unstable tome plus spamming freeze is uh it's a thing.
I'm not saying it's a good thing, but there are certainly arguments to be made. Yeah, it's it's a it's a big risk for sure. If we were to go that path, that would be that would be a large risk. But we we might also get a fair amount of owl chip damage that way. We're killing all our phase friends with onion suit. We have not destroyed any items, so Transcendence is not of any great use to us. Uh, so I don't think Conduit is the play. Which means I think what we do is... Let's upgrade. And then we'll pick up Blizzard. Do that. All right. I think that's reasonable. It's definitely not a light side run. I don't I don't love. I think we're we're not terrible here, but we're not great here. That's a a kick in the teeth. I screwed this up, because now he's going to move forward and I'm going to move forward, which means we don't have the explode anymore. Um, if we pop Blizzard, then we don't also don't have the explode anymore. Oh, RC, that's heartbreaking. Juke the Owl. Like, step past the owl? I think he hits pretty hard. Yeah, I think that's a little too hard for me to, to want to juke. Is he gonna eventually run away if I do this? Or is he just... He's stuck in that. Okay, so... I think I, I have to pop the freeze. The problem with popping Blizzard right now... Actually, no, I don't. I don't need to do that. Okay, what I do is, is I do... Two of these guys? Really? Kind of a kind of a jerk move. Ah, okay, so so I can. I think I, I have to drop the blizzard, move twice with potion heal past the owl. Does that help me much? I don't think the blizzard is that bad here. It gives me... Gives me some options. Where am I compared to him now? I'm completely disoriented. That's okay, though. Come get the scrounger. Now what you say? Um... I don't know entirely. If we if we clear enough of the room, 
then eventually he'll summon? I think that's probably the play. There we go. And we're 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 doing some good work on him. feel pretty good. I almost attacked one too many times there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff that just got summoned in. Bad RNG on, on his exit point there. We'll take this. Where does this take us to? I don't see another phase fiend here. Alright, well let's let's get rid of some of these guys. We can I, I want to be a little careful, though. I probably don't want to... You can zoom out to see the full ring. How? How how does one zoom out? This is, this is new tech from my perspective. Don't really want to... Oh, that's super annoying. The keybind, really? So let's see. Uh, five, four, three, two. Okay. Well, we have two, one. But now we need to go over this way, or we can just hit this guy. There goes the guy that I was saving for exploding him, but. Alright, this is huge, though. Okay, run away. Where's the... You can also click the top of the screen, you think. Uh, I don't see anything on the top there, Bren. Uh, let's see. We can move one to the side there. Okay, perfect. Slightly dangerous. Ugh. I think I move like this. Hit you with that. Okay, we're not going to get anything out of him now. Oh, freezing that is a bummer. We don't have an exploder right now, so I think I just... 
run a bit. All right, he's gonna, he's jumping back. Now I always forget if this interrupts. I guess if it doesn't, we'll be okay. Yeah, it does not interrupt. Oh, am I about to take a hit here? Yes, it, it oh it just it stuns him too. Okay, so if I if I move here, I take 20. If I move there, I take 20. If I hit this guy, I do not. There we go. Alright, that was the Moving past blockers. Can't complain about it. I guess we should pick this up and look at it, right? Eh, it's, it's more... We got more movement options with it. Four, three, two, one. That's good. Okay, now he should summon more. All right, they're all over there on the left, which means... Frisia wouldn't want to be ya. Come to me? Not really. We're not going to get there before he unfreezes, so I think we hit this and then wait for him to come over here. Okay. He is stunned. He is stunned. He is stunned. He is dead. There we go. All right. Who dog? Easy W. That was uh that was a good one. I I will say I have tried off stream a few times to knock that one out and uh it, that is not an easy achievement. Tunnel vision. All right, nicely done. What does this unlock? The Feathered Friend. It is a... It's a shirt with four arms. That's, if that's not Nightmare Fuel, I don't know what is. Alright, so that first one was good. Let's go back to the collection and see what... Uh, see what else tickles our fancy. Complete a run with five or less max health. That is a tough... That's a tough one, I, I will admit. Complete a run without ever equipping body, head, arms, legs, or feet. I'm trying to think... I mean, right off the bat, I'm not... I'm not sure I'm entirely convinced as to what we can do there. The no rare or epic items... Are rare the blue ones? So it's no blue and purple... A run without swapping gear. Is that a... I don't... I don't have that as a... As on the list. Is that Path to Enlightenment? Is no swapping gear? Because that's the, that's the only one that's there that I don't have. I do have it. Oh, but it doesn't unlock an item. No swapsies. Yeah, I, I want to focus on the one that the ones that unlock items first, uh, which are the ones that have the key on the right hand side. We'll potentially do all the challenge runs eventually, but I like the idea of getting things done that have that come with uh, with some benefit. So we could do like a no rare or epic item run and go for a tiara run. We haven't done a tiara run in a while, and it was just mentioned earlier. So maybe we'll maybe let's try that. 
I haven't I haven't picked up a TR run in a while. The uh Well this is a this is a bit of a slap in the face, isn't it? Starting starting us off sandwiched between the two enemies that can cause us harm in the on the first floor. Misting Vessel is a great pickup for runs that look like this. It's been a while since I've done one of these runs. I don't fully... Oh, Patience is so good for us. Um, oh, yeah, it's like... We do like Clarity as a... Or Spiritual, excuse me. Spiritual for our fourth? Seems pretty good. We do lose some speed, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to balance that out a little bit. But and now I apologize for what I am about to do, but this will go pretty quickly because we have spiritual. So now we are not allowed to take anything that is not uh, yellow or above. All right. Now we we can do we can take this and take the guaranteed crits. Uh, blue items hold no use for us. We don't need chaotic healing. We can probably risk this. Ooh, the spicy spoon. Sadly, no, not on this run. Grab that. It's so weird being able to take special rooms again. Uh, tunnel vision really, really messed with my brain a wee bit. All right. Those speed scrolls are are what are most important in life. Uh, we'll definitely trade a health for defense. Chugging mask would be so good. I don't think... I don't think there's literally anything that we can do. Now, we are... We are limited by the fact that the first item that we can get that allows us to take more items now is backpack. <laughs> um, but... Blue or purple scroll. Yes. Good. Good call out. Ooh, we are too... We are too slow. I, that is something that I would have forgotten in Lustrous. And it would have, uh, it would have bit us. We can take this. This is common, though. Nope, the other stalker item we can't do because we're not taking any blue or purple items. And that is a purple item. Oh. Uh-oh. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I can't get rid of this? Alright, so I lost the run for us. Unless we can pick up another scroll. Uh, so we have to find another scroll that does not... that is not purple. <laughs> to save our run. Uh, unfortunate. Foiled by greed. So classic. 
Uh, okay, we can't take that anyways. I don't know why I opened that. All right, so I think this run is I think this run is dead, which given how good it was is uh, is a shame. Oh, without a scroll, we're really in an extremely bad way. Eh. Okay, we'll try again. All right, the plan is a tiara run with no uh, with no epic or legendary items. Yeah, that was that was a bummer. We just we just had a run that I I threw pretty egregiously. But we're going to Gosh, this first floor was really extra extra spicy, wasn't it? We we want to get as much as many souls as we possibly can. So that hopefully we can find some of the good luck that we had previously. Black Opal is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, nothing there. All right, the game giveth and the game taketh away, but we have some time. We're not we're not too worried about those bits of bad luck. Uh, Rainbow socks ain't it? We need to be faster. Oh yeah, let's let's check on. Someone said that there was a setting for zooming out. The uh, open map is M. Enter observe mode. Is that? I'll put it on O. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I did not know about that hotkey. What a, what a magnanimous dispensation. All right, the list of things we are looking for is short. I'll put it on O. All right, we got, we got all our goodies last time. Ooh, waiting rags. I don't I don't think on Tierra runs I don't think you do it. Huge pickup on the extra speed there. We could use some more common items for sure. It's a nice feature. It's a little it's a little janky the way that it works. We could we could go glacial hammer. Yeah, it's good stats. Uh it means that we won't be going the spiritual misting vessel route, but that's okay. Oh heck yeah, Marrow. Chaotic Undies is uh I mean, if anytime you're rocking uh what is it? Um, the uh, upside down uh, candle. Like you start with chaotic undies, and I've had some some pretty banger runs there. But uh, I actually really like chaotic undies. I think they're pretty. Oh, that was so bad. Why would why would I do that? Yeah, you can forget, well, you can forget about speed, and in fact, the lower you get it, the better, which is pretty nice. Um, and the, the Glacial Hammer here is helping out a little bit, so that this isn't a hit-the-button 200 times type of scenario. 
but yeah, slightly, slightly sloppy there. Uh, a lot of blue items we're not going to take. Bag of holding. When you replace stalker, I, I mean, this could be, this could be an insidious run. We have time to get it set up. It does mean that we're not going to have Misting Vessel. Okay, I'll, I'll roll the dice on Insidious. There's a blue scroll I was tempted to pick up. It is a little risky. But I think it's interesting. I'm also going to let this guy take a chunk out of me. I'm I'm rolling here because poison dagger puts us closer and it is better for us now. Uh The game is lying to me about my uh, my doom, but it's this it's moments like this where Insidia starts to pop off. All right. So that's that's pretty good, I will say. Now, we can take freeze if we want to. We just have to use it before anything bad happens. We'll definitely go crossroad. We got Aggression and we got Fountain of Life. We don't care for Fountain of Life, so it's definitely Aggression. And then whatever is in front of us, we're just going to pop this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess just to be on the safe side. We got we got good stuff going on here for sure. That's not gonna remove any, oh it is gonna remove attack. How fabulous. Little defense. I mean defense is really not what we need. Cause if we I mean if we're getting hit, we're getting hit. I think defense is basically a wasted stat for us on this run. But it's not in Lustrous, because if we're fast enough to hit stuff, we're not going to be taking any hits back. And the soul gain that we would gain from, say, Clarity, like, yeah, even Owl. We're, by the time we get to Owl, we're going to have, like, okay, so, so this is the way I think about it. By the time we get to Owl, there's no way we're going to have enough defense to be able to tank hits. We just did an Ox run where we had like 40 defense and we were still getting hit for 18. There's no way we're going to get to 40 defense on this run. Yeah, so so from my perspective, I think health is good because that is survivability that will allow us to like tank a hit here and there. But I think clarity is better this early. So I'm, I'm going to grab that. But yeah, I, I don't think I don't think we're ever gonna get to the point where our defense moves the needle. Now you are a scary boy. Man, there's our first backpack opportunity. Not gonna get it. But but yeah, we, we need to get faster. That's our speed is our survivability mechanism right now. The game is just lying to me left and right here.
Yeah, on TR runs, it's it's really hard to have defense be a needle mover. I, is my experience. Separation we can probably make work. We have a flexible enough build that we should be able to reunite them. Bludgeon is legendary, but do we think that... that it's better than Poison Dagger? It is pretty good. In fact, no, it is bad. Because, uh, yeah, it, it's going to hurt our attack. Yeah, it, it would it would blow out in uh, insidious. And I'll at least look at these, but we're not going to take any of them. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. We just, we just need to get to the point where we're getting lots of, lots of goodies. I was trying to avoid getting shot by her. I did a bad job. Okay, so now... We like that we're going to lose attack. From this, but the question is... A little bit of defense for the occasional hit, or a little bit of health? I think defense. No, I think it's health. Well, I, I don't want I don't want any hits getting amplified. So let's let's grab a bit of defense, but I'm I'm sad about no health. We can't take that scroll. Can't take that. For the bile bags. Uh they all of their damage is done as piercing damage. Oh my god, I just walked right into that. That was horrifically bad. Whoops. Blue item, blue item. Okay, recovery. Crossroads. Position to strike, careful maneuver, or aggression. Um, I think careful. I think careful maneuver has the highest chance of a legendary. All right, and we did not. No joy on that front. We, we only got a purple, but I, I, I'm i pretty sure this room has the highest chance of a no-key legendary. So, that, that was the thinking there. We can, we can afford to lose a little bit of health. And that's that's a reasonably easy take. Uh, nice. I think twenty one is like right on that break point, but I think we can do that. Ugh, not being able to take keys feels really sad. Get get our speed back to that safe place. 
right, and that's all she wrote for here. Yeah, no, I I know. That's uh, except if if we go light ending, which sometimes Tiara is pretty good on light ending. But I this is right now this is feeling like a like it is not a Why did you just reveal? I guess I guess it revealed because someone tried to move into it. Does that mean that whoever's behind you is unpleasant? Okay. In this case, I think now it's some more health. There's a legendary. Now, the only thing we want is bag. <laughs> Nothing else matters until we get bag. I don't think I've ever seen Shatter before. Uh, Poison Sword is, is purple, not yellow. Unfortunately. You can't freeze the bird, unfortunately, uh, in the final area. Uh, I... 160 souls. I want to. I want to save this for for later. So I'm not. I mean, we'll probably get enough. I'll roll one more time. Sadly, no bag. No. No joy. Okay, we got aggression here. Yeah, and we will we will get to crack that open and hopefully we'll crack it open with enough souls to be able to roll it at least once. Ah, uh, yes, we did. We did get there. On shuffle, three poison to all creatures. No. Oh, we didn't have enough. Damn. Uh, I miscounted. All right. Off by 10. In my mental math, not in actuality. Ta-da! We're very unlikely to be able to... Okay, we're just going to bum rush this thing. Just a little conga line of death, indeed. Uh, okay, nothing nothing else to do here. Our, uh, our bag dreams are slipping away. The, uh, the amalgam thing obliterated itself. You'll love to see it. Okay, let's just sure up our, our speed. We have no shuffly thing, so it's just gonna, we're just gonna take the hits. Hundred and forty, we can't take soul craft, we can't take those. All right, volatile it is. I don't I don't know that we win this without bag. Cuz we're going to have a very hard time detonating things. 
soul craft the poison sword but then i don't get the achievement in lustrous we're trying to do this with only commons and legendaries that's the uh that's the concept so if i picked up oh no but soul craft is purple itself right I'm going to roll the dice on this. Well, I can't take blue items either. I can't. I can only take. We could buy Inferno. When creatures explode, deal five damage to all creatures. Reduce explode damage taken by four. This really messes up our. Yeah, I don't think that works. I don't think it's a replacement for Poison Dagger. No, sadly it is not. How fast have you gotten? Oh boy. Alright. Good deal. Oh, that didn't affect attack. That's a bummer. Patience is patience is good. That's probably a free something for us. Plus three to your highest stat when equipped. Now you, we have a potion. And if we hit you twice, you die. Are you already dead? Six plus five. Yeah, I think you're already dead. All right. Good. And slightly, slightly risky, potentially. I'm going to do that just to get you up. Then do that. We're not going to risk that. Purple, purple, we can open this up. Backpack. It's a little little late in the game, but we'll uh, we'll try and make it work. I think it might be too late. <laughs> oh, Plague is so good. Dang it. The, the problem is we still can't take... We can take any yellow item that presents itself from here. Collateral damage. Is this insane for us? It makes... It makes Insidious pop off like crazy. And plus 15 splash damage. Splash damage destroys items, chests, stat boosts, and potions. I feel like this could kill the run, but it also seems like it could be totally hilarious. Doesn't it? I mean, but it's going to be destroying all the items. But yeah, we'll we'll go for it. Let's uh let's let's live dangerously. There's so much purple here. Oh my gosh. If if this was a regular run, we would be we would be in in Winsville. See, like, I can't get to stuff like that. It, it does make getting scrolls very difficult. 
That's for sure. Probably unnecessary there. Uh, now, if I shuffle, maybe I can get to the scroll. See what it is? Ooh, yeah. Big get. And we'll take this because this is about to disappear anyways. <laughs> that, that splitter did get kind of bum-rushed. Uh, we can go to the reprieve and kill the owl to weaken it. This is hilarious. <laughs> Destroy all its potions and then just obliterate it. Okay. I I don't know. I this is a this is a weird one for sure. Oh, shoot. I think we move past because we want to maybe keep crushing dash. I'm I'm like I'm trying to dodge destroying stuff right now. So if I do this, it destroys that. So I move past you. I'm going to take eight, but I think that's okay. I can't, I, I can't even compute right now. Uh, I think we get this before we destroy it. <sighs> okay. Uh, gain defense. Nominal amounts. Uh, plus eight more splash damage. I mean, sure. Now we can pick this up before we, okay, this is what we do. We pick this up. Huge that that potion survived. Wow, they're giving us a lot of 11-hour goodness. Oh, that was a mistake, though. I, I could have had whatever that was. Uh, okay, the fact that we're getting an ambush here. All right, that worked. Scroungers stop fleeing or create a random potion on kill every four turns. I don't think we can go negative on defense right now. Maybe we roll this one? I think we roll this one. This makes, uh, this makes Insidious go pretty hard. <laughs> I think we do this. Might as well take this because it's gonna, it's gonna go away anyways. That's not gonna that's not gonna help. Okay, so I I think we're I think we have an interesting run on our hands. This also this is a twenty eight minute run. We are speed running this like absolutely no one's business. So 
So crushing dash, skip four cards to the right and petrify on our way. I think we do this now. I think we I think we kill him if we do this. Uh, I think so I think we hit here. We're going to take 20. I think that's just the p cost of Why is he still attacking? All right. So Not, not great. Uh, I know, I know I have freeze, but I can, I can detonate things with, I can detonate things this way. So if I move I think I need to hit this because I need to stop. This will send him to the center, which buys me some time. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't forget about Tiara. I'm taking a lot of damage here, though. I think we lose. Man, that's a bummer. Because um, here's the thing. Maybe if I had stayed and hit that instead. The fact that this guy's hitting for 50-something is just... Absurd. So yeah, so moving moving right, I get exploded. Moving this way, if I double dodge, or if I dodge, I six I survive. So that's I think that's the only way that I that we win. Alright. That was a good try though. That was a crazy run. But that we never had an opportunity to get a hit off on him. But yeah, that was an interesting run. We'll we'll run that back and try it one more time. All right, so we're we're doing another tiara run, trying to avoid picking up any blue or yellow items. Picking this up right off the bat was not the play, but that's okay. Yeah, that was that was an, a close a close one for sure. All right. I it, Insidious is a little hard to work with with Tiara. And I think normally I think we take we take clarity here. Now nah, we're good. Let's get as much reroll fodder as we can. No. No. None of those work for us. This guy's permafrosted, so. Uh, there's one more chest, all right. There we go. 
No. Yeah, we'll try and make spiritual work. Now, I can't help but notice that we're really not getting... A lot of love on the speed front, which is really what we want. But if we're going spiritual, we'll definitely grab that and grab that. Spiritual by itself is an owl kill if you play it right. It's just a very slow owl kill. <laughs> no, you don't. The lack of speed, though, is, is going to be... Probably our biggest problem. I don't think any amount of defense. Ooh, we could go... We could go Diamond Spoon. <laughs> Rely entirely on spiritual for our damage. Uh, I think that's probably not what the doctor ordered. Fire Dance. Take 3x explode damage if you have 6 or fewer items equipped. Certainly an interesting idea. Poison is pretty good. Is it good enough to be our fourth item? I don't think so. All right, you love you love patience on these runs for sure. Ooh, we are we are a little slow though. And now we're we're trapped in sadness, but better better to let these guys proc our uh, our spiritual. Gives me an opportunity to hydrate. And there we go. I don't think we got a single shadow step last run. That's a, that's a dirty shame, dirty rotten shame. But nothing there. Some point I want to do uh, the crown, the tiny crown frog friend run, but that one doesn't seem super fun. We are so slow at the moment. This is going to be... This is going to be our undoing. Is there anything else left? Oh, okay. Misting Vessel as our fourth is extremely... reasonable. Detonates blue, so we can't take it. Ouch. Okay. Reckless companions are overwhelmed. I think we do well with overwhelm. We didn't get great spiritual procs there, but oh, and and the fact that we're going to be just shy of this is really not super awesome. All right, that was a very early opportunity for for a yellow, but I will I will risk that curse scroll because we're that desperate for for speed. Do I risk this one too? We have good potions, so I think we do. Let's get our clarity off of zero. We're extremely good for ambushes. Well, actually with our speed this slow, we're kinda okay for ambushes.
I was gonna say, are we really... Looking at those blue items is just temptation. Same there. Not a lot going on here. Now, sadly, we don't we don't know if we have wishful in the in the crossroads. So I can't imagine taking anything from either of these on the possibility prospect of that watch. We'll definitely get a wishful here, but Nope. Chills is not it, so we'll go volatile. You need to remember those little guys are faster than, than I generally expect them to be. All right. For each stalker item and snare a creature, no. We know what we're looking for. Ah. Sadly, no joy. I'm not really taking advantage of Misting Vessel. Ah, oh, this would be such a great item to pick up if we were... Well, on the last run it would have been exceptional, but... It would be pretty good on this run too, I feel like. I'm trying to think what we want. Now, we have we have a Reckless and we have a Crossroads. I think I just take the Reckless. No legendaries? I mean, that that may end up happening. This is slightly spicy. Tons of, tons of life, right? We were fine. We're still so slow. It's kind of, it's kind of terrifying. These guys are a drag. I don't think we can stop this guy. Yeah. No love. Ugh. How fast are you? 12 speed? There's no way we're getting to 12 speed. And then you are 15 speed. Okay, well. I think that means this room well we can we can shuffle and we can hope that nice all right actually actually a huge decision there I mean because that means we get this guy which could have meant that we got that guy but that's still the that speed was extremely worth almost walked away from that one How fast are you? 15? It's probably not good for us. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, we dodged it though. Um...
I think I just want to hit harder. Ouchie. Probably won't hit him. It's a, it's a controversial decision, I know, but... Backpack? Not a backpack. All right. Don't think don't think it's worth sacrificing our 7 HP for that. Yeah, he kills me. Mm, I think we die. Yeah. Okay. Our speed never got up there high enough. Uh say lovey. All right. This is going to be the last attempt at a tiara a tiara run here see if we can see if we can swing a tiara run where we don't take any blues or purples let's see let's let's see what we're getting over here first chugging mask is not anything all right, we'll go for another Insidious run. So that's why I didn't want to take that one too early. Was this the combo we used last time? I think it might have been. It worked out pretty well last time, but we got some we got some clutch pickups, and then it still wasn't uh, it still wasn't enough. I wish the preview. I wish they would fix the previews on Frozen plus Poison, claiming that things are, that things are gonna kill you. Okay, so let's see. We can. Summon a nestling. Get some free some free goods out of it. I don't think there's anything that I would want to replace in this moment. We're not fast enough for the reprieve to work out, so we still might as well take it, but I'm still I'm still in tunnel vision mode. But Yeah, exactly. The our, our speed is already better than it was, although it was horrifically bad before. You're not leaving. You may you may think you are, Scrounger, but I got your number. The speed was kind of like off the charts bad that last run. So we got an ambush. We're good for ambushes right now, but the reward from an ambush is almost always going to be a blue or at most a purple. So I think careful maneuver is the better choice. And we're at five items, so we need to pop the freeze scroll almost immediately. My goal here is to bum rush. Uh, I don't think there's any way I could stop that one from getting away. I certainly tried. So we have plenty of potions, so we'll roll the dice on that. We'll just grab Pierce, because we know we can use it immediately. Yeah, we're only on level 4, and... Oh, shouldn't uh, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, 
Yeah, 16 speed is <laughs> worlds better than the last run. One thing I'm always amazed by with uh, with these TR runs is how long you can sit on uh, sit on like stealth from scrolls. It's like it's uncanny. Okay, overwhelm I think is the play here. This this guy's getting having a field day with us. Um, that was unpleasant. Just what we need is one more of those, right? That went, that went as well as I think it could. All right, we we took some we took some hits, but and and it would have been really nice. The double the double purples would have been pretty clutch, but as it is uh, for floor five with where we are right now, I think we're we're okay. Oh, and of course the other one switches. Thanks, game. Insidious is active. Companions is a no. Over overwhelm. So overwhelm is the one with the ranged enemies. I think we. I think we still risk it. It comes with potions, so it's not. Um, I think I have to do this, and then I have to do that. That was a little, that was a little mind bending. All right, one second. Yeah, Sasha Sasha just got home, so the the pupper was was losing its uh losing its mind a little bit. Alright, but we're back. There we go. So many purples. This run the potential for this run was off the charts, but but we're only on we're only on six, so it's not The way that those fire beads can yeah, stop you from making any progress is substantial. All right. Disappointing room. We need to be getting those scroungers because the the potential for for minus attack items is high. This has been just endless ranged enemies. Little defense goes a long way. 
Can't take anything there. We could kill the bird now, so let's go ahead and do that. You always think we need more defense in Lustrous. I think... I'm just going to get a little bit of room to work. But yes, I, I would like to have a little more. Even though the bile bags, it does no good. Defense does not help with bile bags because their, their attack is piercing. But that's not to say that we don't occasionally get punched in the face and less pain would be better. Last time we had more than two defense, I think. Instability is dangerous. If we if we get a spawn near the instability guy, it's potentially worth a lot. Let's let's roll the dice. We have 17 health. So now things are now things are diffused. See, more than two. I'm technically correct, the best kind of correct. <laughs> This, this room has been so souls-tastic. Now, unfortunately, we're getting a lot of, a lot of souls, but not a lot of places to spend them. It's not, they're not offering us a lot of defense, I just want to say for the record. <laughs> I'm, it's not like I'm not trying to take it. See, and I'll even take some defense there against my better judgment. Okay, all right. That was, our stats rounded out really nicely there. I think we have better stats than the last time when we lost. Oh, that's just that's just mean. Even that oil hanging out there, not that I would have been able to use it, but I was going to say I feel like those guys always come in pairs. Did they really do it again? They're facing each other. Come on. Hey. All right. 500 souls and not a item to be found. Okay. The bile bag was kind of a jerk specifically the leaking bile bag, but we got our first. Our first yellow item coming in. Just wasted a stealth. That was a mistake. 
yeah, we we have had more purple opportunities, which which normally for runs like this can be pretty uh, pretty insanely good. Now the question is, how much can we actually afford to roll here? I think that's as far as I. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do up to that backpack. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. We ball. Indeed, we do. Alright, so we can. There's no shuffly thing, so I'm just gonna have to. Okay. Move away from creatures on attack. No, thank you. After spell is used, guaranteed stealth. No. Crushing concoction. Can't go because I have backpack. Transform on parry. Transform creatures drop a small stat bonus or potion. Goblet seems okay. There aren't that many items that have negative attack on them, so I think I'm going to grab Goblet as as potentially something useful. Okay, let's embrace Chaos. Oh, are all of these enemies, because they're transforming, going to drop stat bonuses? That's actually kind of insane, isn't it? If I just, like, move around, does stuff keep transforming and dropping stat bonuses? Like, obviously, these attack ones we don't want, but... This room is uh this room is proving somewhat profitable. <laughs> okay, defense, defense, health, health. Skip the attacks. Uh let's see. Given the situation, I don't our clarity is just going to remain negative. We're not going to our clarity is not going to Our clarity is not coming out of the hole that we have dug for it. Okay, that was a, that was an interesting room, to say the least. Thank you for playing. Okay, bile bag. Let's mainline him. Free legendary. Okay, we're going careful maneuver, but we got this. Ha! Ah, splash damage again. I I think splash damage is a good thing. Because it allows us to kill... Ah, but splash damage is a good thing. But destroying items and chests, I think, hurt us a lot on that last run. This is just so much poison. Splash is good sometimes. I think collateral damage destroying items, chests, and stat boosts, though, is problematic. So I think Giant's Club is okay. I don't I don't mind go Goblet too much, though, right now. We don't have a Transform Synergy, so is it ever going to pay out like it just did? No. I think we go Giant's Club. And then we go Careful Maneuver. This gets us this gets us poisoning at a at an unprecedentedly good level.
like we would have destroyed all of those scrolls trying to do anything with that. So. For one speed, we gain four. Eh, let's take the health. I don't I don't know if I can justify any more of these. Yeah, I, I think the curse scroll we're we're too far in, in the red. Toxins would be better than club, but oh well. Yeah, I mean we may we may find our way there, but I I don't think like I think we have enough floors where we don't want to roll ourselves into oblivion. Okay, that was terrifying. Good job. Oh, shoot. Don't want this guy to get away. Like we're going to we're going to have more opportunities for stuff and I I don't want to I don't want to blow all our souls rerolling. Cause like these are these are trash. Health potions give plus three max health instead of healing. Seems dangerous. Dark pact again. Give us some devolve. Plus six health. I think this one we roll. Evasive is pretty damn good. For each stalker item in snare, yeah, let's just go evasive. 60% dodge. Might save us. It's, it's definitely the case that everything dies from one hit eventually. As in minus clarity, small potions only give you three health anyways. That's true. It is better than zero. Let's see. All right. So anything else here? Doesn't look like it. I think we're just cracking this open and our, our pile of souls is slowly melting away. Your next attack after dodging is a guaranteed crit, but it comes with attack, which we're not too excited about. We don't want to replace our hat, so I think we roll. We could go Skirt of Visions for nothing. Uh, no. Wishful does not work on secondary stats. So it only works on these primary stats, attack, defense, speed, clarity, and health. So this would just destroy evasive. Uh, you would get nothing out of it. Yeah. Kill a frozen creature. When is this good? I don't know. I'm going to roll this again, though. Skirt of Visions, we could go, like, mad negative clarity. We can Wishful the Club, yes. This is pretty good. This is okay. It's not it's not great, but I, I think we save our money. Yeah, and we can wishful the club, which means we can pick up a spell. I didn't want to reroll one more time. That would have that would have zeroed us out. 
But let's... We will Wishful the club. So that way, if we get a spell, it won't be ruining our, uh, our synergy. We could also Wishful this. But Ensnare on attack isn't bad. Yeah. The debuffs are coming are coming fast and furious, that's for sure. Banishing Mace. Now, most of our poison is coming from Insidious. Do we like teleporting things away? That that seems like there's some RNG there that could really mess with our our happiness. Twenty-three. I feel like twenty-four is is where we want to be. Now I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it a little more. Fast and furious. We'd we'd lose a little. Oh yeah, we'd lose a lot of speed. You're right, actually. That is fair. Uh, this is a reroll. We'll take shatter. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to use shatter or why I care, but we'll take shatter. I mean, the the thing about the thing about attacks uh, targets get randomly teleported is if they didn't get to attack after they teleported, the amount of poison we were dishing out would just be like unheard of. Yeah, it, it just it, it doesn't seem strong enough to to warrant a six turn cooldown. <laughs> is is my the the reason that I'm like really is it is it good? Let's just let's just fix our speed. Make sure our speed is is extremely good. Skip undamaged creatures on attack. I feel like it absolutely kills us if we take it. Target both units. Target both front cards on attack. So this means that if there's two enemies in front of me, I, I freeze both of them on attack. That might be worth taking the slightly less poison, because it means that if the owl is here and I'm here, no, nah, I, I still need to move. I don't know. There's part of me that's like, maybe dual wield is good. Also, you don't get retaliate. Yeah. Retaliation from the creature in front. Hold on. Volter is wildly bad. Are we sure? Like, because in this situation, I'm going to hit the thing, and then I'm going to jump over it. Right? Yeah, it's pretty bad, I think. And this doesn't protect me. Create a copy of the last scroll if you have no scroll equipped once per scroll picked up. I don't think... I think Echo is better than Shatter, but... You can only do it once per scroll. I'll roll again. Is this slightly better? I 
don't think it is. Maybe it is? After spell use, deal 30 damage to a random creature. It certainly doesn't feel great. Ensnare on attack is probably better. Well, I, but I could replace... I, I'm thinking I could replace Shatter. That's my... I, I agree. It's not good otherwise, but... Well, here we are again. Icy Touch is so much better. I wish I could take it. There we go. At least I used Shatter once, right? How are we going to stun the owl? Carefully. We can take Suffocate. That's a that's an owl stun. But yeah, it's it's going to be a little hard. Do we have the stats to do the other bosses? Maybe this is a light side ending play. Our speed doesn't carry us through that one... That one area where everybody is super fast. I think we're better off owling. But this is this we may fail to launch once again. See, so I can stun him right now, but we don't we don't want to. Not yet. See, I can if I pop this right now, we get some hits off. So I think we do it. Now, unfortunately, all that poison didn't carry over. We probably should save that for phase two. And I'd like to get these guys done while I can. We would have been fine if he popped out where we wanted him to, but... Oh, you ready for this? I got an idea. Oh! Whose house? <laughs> Shatter's house. <laughs> I I love the fact that Shatter won the run so handily there. That was that was funny. Oh yeah. That worked out super well. <laughs> I'm like, Shatter's awful, Shatter's awful, Shatter's awful. Guess what? Shatter might not be awful. Go figure. What have I done? All right. Ignoring the mid game. Complete a run without ever equipping a rare or epic item. Tasty. Let's see what we got unlocked here. 
Payne's Reward. Interesting. That was fun, though. Getting that Insidious run off the ground. That uh, that was a pretty sweet run. We did not come up with that many uh, epic items. Shatter, ironically awesome. Uh, Evasive did some good work. Backpack, obviously, uh, reigning champ of Hermit's Tiara runs. Uh, yeah, not not bad, not bad. Let's see. Let's try and do one more here. All right, so we're cruising for another potential interesting one. We die 250 times. We're not gonna we're not gonna hammer that one out here. <laughs> I'll I'll save you all the the pain of that. Uh, we could do the no epic or legendary. We could try the no body, head, arms, legs, or feet. Is arms weapon? Five or less health, I'm not entirely sure how to do. Let's let's try Arms is shield slot. Okay, let's let's try no let's try nudie run then. And then what do we That starts with a head item. First five slots have to remain empty for nudie. Ah, that's super helpful. Thank you. Let's try it. Let's try a glowstone run for nudie. Right? We can reroll into higher higher rarity items. That seems interesting. So let's let's see. So head one, two, three, four, five. Ah, yes. Oh, it's gloves. Okay, it's not shield. Got it. Okay. Olives, olives going to town. Let's see. Did we get a good potion? Not really. Hungry Sun Run? Ooh, plus one health every time you equip an item. This early in a run is kind of interesting. I, I love the idea of oh yeah we can equip that so hungry sun sounds fun we'll do that then we'll heal up get some get some serious attack right off the cuff sure all right we got ourselves a weird run for sure I like the idea of go of going with all the uh, all the synergies. No head items. Uh, this is a nasty sandwich. There we go. The potions they do nothing. One, two, three, four, five. No, none, no shoes. Uh, glass shield? No, I don't think so. I'll go a little deep. Uh, okay. Oh, these are pants. So I, I can't use them. Creatures take three X explode damage if you have six or fewer items. I I say we forget the nudie run, and we try and we try and make fire dance hungry sun work. Like let's go for an explosion build. I've never done one before, and it just sounds fun. So we're we're pivoting we're pivoting to explosions. Apologies. Gain plus one max HP for each primary stat that is negative on dungeon exit. So, okay, so we do have to keep the number of items that we have. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to we need to chill on on items to make the pants work. 
until we can get something that enables us to to do better. Oh yeah, we only get healed from that. But we're gonna get healed for insane numbers, right? It's glorious. Now, why are we only healing for four there? I guess it's because the way the pants work. It's not 3x healing for us. Okay. That's a little disappointing, but... So we get one more. Uh, poison on shuffle, plus three damage to poison creatures. No to those. Let's let's get a little crazy. Plus one poison to front cards on attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we oh. I don't think we take spoon. Yeah, I, I don't think this run is is quite coming together the way that I wanted it to. Full explosive build, much easier to do with selective stone. Yeah, it does seem that way. But but I'm also kind of sitting here and I'm like, what are the synergies that we're actually trying for? Heal me. Heal me. I should be a little careful. We're taking we're taking some unnecessary chip damage. Ooh, gain... Uh, no, knockback is really bad for us, actually. Yeah, knockback doesn't work because we... We want things to explode next to us. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... F I, I think that the things that... Okay. Which way... Which way are you going? Okay, you're going that way, so we can... Keep getting a little faster. Insatiable for the 5 HP run. The the thing that I haven't figured out in Lustrous, just thinking out loud now. Okay, hold on. So we... This is a terrible idea. Okay. Never, uh, never punished, apparently. Is there a better pair of... Uh, no, we don't want to. We don't want to waste that. <laughs> Waiting rags are just the better option here, but. But yeah, I don't know how you survive with only five hit points. You know, it's not to say that we haven't. Oh yeah, those guys we can't. Those guys we cannot suffer. Wow, this guy's wrecking me. Noted. All right. Got excited about the pants. I'm not... Add death effect. Explode for four to target after attack. Okay, so this is the kind of thing we need, but we need it... Well, we, we take this, but then we need to get rid of some items. To reactivate our stuff. Okay, is anybody gonna explode? Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to... We want to keep Hungry Sun. Dark Defiance. Evolve a, a random other creature on attack 60% of the time. I think we like this. We, we hit hard. That's good. I think we can take this. Let's find a Wishful, though. Show me Wishful. Companions? I think we take Volatile over Companions. Do we want to hit faster? Or do we want speed? I think we just want to hit harder. Okay, that's our last heal. Oh, shoot. I missed our last heal. That was foolish. Poison creatures will transfer poison. Now, I like Dark Defiance. I don't really want to spend health right now. So, we, yeah, we want we want to find a Wishful. But we also want to get our, our pants back active. The, the gloves are basically doing nothing for us right now. Cool. Very cool. Shrine of Sacrifice. Which one is that? It's one that gives you the choker which is plus two for consecutive attacks from the same position. We don't care. So better, better just to go regular down. It's like two petrify on all creatures when you take damage. Or destroy oh siphon gem. Let's just let's just start siphoning gems. We're early enough in in the run that I think maybe we can lock in some good stuff. Let's see. Okay, so Full heal scroll is good. Right? Explosions heal. Gain no health from potions. Okay, so... I don't think... Do we bother with you for eight souls? Probably not. So we can go we can go insanely negative clarity right now if we want to. But at this point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can make that eight. If we go to wishful, we can destroy one, two, three. So yeah, so if we take this, we can't. We can't get down to where we need to get to. But we might as well be opening these looking for gem slots. Like this. Lock those stats in. Wow. All right. Talk about 
Talk about good news on that front. All right, let's see. So, Reprieve. We're, we're going to go here for Wishful. I don't think I'm going to bother killing him. For eight souls, I don't think it's worth taking the five damage. Yes, to what end is, is a very fair question. Companions... We're probably okay for chills. We're not freezing. I guess by chills they meant... They meant poison? More transform synergy. Living Helm is fantastic, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and we need to go down to six. So we could technically take one more item. And having having an additional heal synergy is good, I think. We're we're really banking on wishful though, in a big in a very big way. Olive's having Olive's having a day. I don't know what to say. Our sustain is pretty okay. Let's see. What we need is crushing concoction. I tell you what. Four souls for that, not worth. I, I hate to leave that behind, but. Insanity stone is good, but nah, we're, we're on the wishful train. Our sustain is quite good. Do we care about speed? At some point we may start caring about speed. I'm just not sure when that moment will be. Living Helm Corset are often game winning. Yeah, they they sometimes the the healing that they give is really next level. Okay, so we should we should wait because if we sneak up on that guy, he he gets uh, he he is completely incapable of doing anything. Ooh, this guy hits hard. Oh, and somehow... Uh-oh. Oh, the blocker got transformed. That's what happened. Got it. So what we need, yeah, I think Crushing Concoction is our, like... Is our win condition. Good, good stuff coming here. That's 
This this room is gonna pay pretty sweet dividends. Assuming I can avoid hitting that guy. Okay, so let's see. So we should have popped that sooner because we're gonna go key. Uh wow. Okay, well that's interesting. So we could we could get our clarity going positive pretty hard. But 20 20 for a reroll means not a lot of chance of anything. Soul gain from killing is boosted by negative clarity instead of positive. We do have a bit of a negative clarity run going. Uh, it replaced it replaced fire dance, which is like I'm trying to build the run around uh, big explosions. So I've been waiting for a wishful forever here. Uh, okay, reduce piercing damage taken by two. Yeah, but we'll we'll do this and then we'll immediately axe it. Now, granted, it there is a distinct possibility that we should divest from. Uh, oh, gross. Div divest from our dreams of of getting that the belt to work, but But my plan was was to make the to make the fire to make fire dance work. Okay, soulcraft is good though. And get rid of an item. I don't remember what I had there. Looked like something got replaced there. Yeah, we'll get rid of touch of decay. It's not it's not doing much for us. It took my hat. No big deal. Shrine of Neglect. That's a gem, I believe. Although we might want it because it's also, I think, one HP heal on attack. So that might be that might be worth keeping for other reasons. Yeah. Uh maybe maybe we take frost root here. Cause I, I don't really want to lose 20 HP. So maybe we take frost root here. And then we keep then we go Shrine of Neglect and keep the blood gem. Yeah, root and gem. Yeah, that seems that seems good. We are, uh, we're getting, we have insane healing at the moment. It, it seemed like a good trade. <laughs> Don't know that we needed to do that at all. So now... Now we have this situation where, like, I've been wishing for Wishful forever, but I think it may just not be happening. 10 crit, 10 dodge. Isn't bad. Poison transfers. I don't think we can do 12. Yeah, Crushing Concoction would be, would be a big... A big play. Living corset? 
Certainly fits the fits the bill, doesn't it? We're not gonna see crushing, but you hit first. Gross. That's better than wishful. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Let's let's grab this first, and we'll see if nullify the first explosion taken each dungeon. Not it. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh, I I have a hard time feeling like plague is not better than freezing and snare. This is such a game-winning item. Ah, we always take plague. Let's let's stick with frost root. Every three turn stun is uh, freeze is also quite strong. Move away from creature on attack. Nah. All right. We can see save, save them for later. That guy just absolutely obliterated himself. Yeah, the, the game is too kind. Why? You're hitting too hard. That is too hard. Oh, did I? I just realized I, I was like, oh, we'll just leave those for later. You can't, you can't leave them for later because they get converted. Womp womp. All right, a late ravaged is is good here. Um, we don't need detonate. We we want stuff exploding on our faces. So let's just go to ravaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of the few ways to get, like, late game. Charming Claws is actually pretty solid. Because our, our rerolls are so expensive. Do we want to pivot into a spoon run? 11th hour spoon pivot. Always critical on frozen. Uh, every four attacks, freeze target. Hmm. Cold blooded seems good. We need a new pair of pants. We're never gonna. We're never gonna get the the pants dream. Do we have any brute items? Not a one. I'll roll that one more, looking for something better. Spell use plus health? Mm, I don't think so. New pants. Yep. I think these are fine. Sad that we didn't make those pants work. I guess we could have, like, saved them and hoped for backpack, but I think we've used up our backpack luck for this run. <laughs> no, you don't. He tried to escape. Oh, didn't need to take the hit from him for no reason. Okay, so 
Let's get some speed. And some more speed. And just a little more speed. Free damage is fine. Healing effects restore double the amount. This is part of the dream, I feel like. On successful stealth, spawn a self-destructing fire bead that will... So there's no way to make this hit you, unfortunately. So parting gift, I don't think, can work. Channeling kilt can definitely increase the healing we get from Hungry Sun. We lose six defense when we do that, though. Maybe we roll. Let's find something better. Tax inflict a random status effect. I think that's fun. Sadly, we're no longer on track to do any... Oh, does it tell you what the, what the status effect is going to be? If it's freeze? Didn't get there in time. Too slow. Okay. It does tell you if you're gonna freeze. Or that might be that might be the gloves telling us that it's gonna freeze. Alright. Transforms creatures change into scroungers. Yes, this is this is an amazing combo for us. Attack both front cards. There isn't much of a downside to that. I don't think I care about crushing dash. This is floor 15. We can go reprieve and kill the bird if we wanted to. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, I think it I, it might it might work out. I think it's, it's going to be a little too late. We have to get to the exit. Okay, here's the exit, which means none of the hunters are going to make it. There are a lot of hunters. A lot of scroungers, that is. This room has a few things in it, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. We don't need speed right now. I don't know why I'm taking speed. Let's get some more damage. Defense could definitely use a, a kick. If you didn't kill the fire spawner, that was an in infinite scroungers. Uh, maybe. That's that's an interesting thought. You you may very well be right. Attacks targets get teleported randomly. Eh. Okay, I don't think any of those work for us. Embrace chaos. Everything's going to turn into a scrounger, right? How 
how is it infinite if Dark Defiance would have transformed the Firebrood into a Scrounger? Yeah, probably true in Lustrous. Um, now, is everything just going to turn into a Scrounger? Is that what's going to happen here? No, that is not a Scrounger. I couldn't stop this guy. Oh, yeah, wait. Do they not run away? Is that the other thing this does? No. The stats are pretty solid on this run. We're on Embrace Chaos, and we're going into the question mark room. So I think we, I think we spend here because we're not going to have better options. So if we're going Crushing Concoction, ooh, each dungeon has an additional one to three explosive creatures. Instability is pretty good, but Volcanic I think is is right up our alley. So, like, I think we're we're certainly strong, and there's so many explodey dudes. There's no exit, so scroungers aren't going anywhere. Probably want to take the play, the suffocate. I mean, I think we're, I think we'll be okay here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We don't have a super obvious win condition, so I, I could immediately stun him. But I think we. Do I want to leave, let this guy keep going around? I don't think it matters. I, I suspect he's going to come unstunned before we hit the halfway point, because I think this is the last turn that he's stunned. So let's just move this way. Ah, uh, we had one more. Damn. Oh, I just I just froze my my exploder, dude. That's not great. This is convenient. He's not going to attack me, or is he going to attack me? I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. Well, he did not attack me. Okay, run away.
Uh, so four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so I can't really run away that way. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we go left. Actually, wait, Brit popping this guy gives me a lot more options. There we go. Where's the, the candle? It's over there. Me taking the potion removes the attack. Oh wait, there's a candle here. Never mind. I think plague gets the kill all by itself. Almost. But either way, we get it. So we didn't we didn't unlock anything on that run, but it was still it was still a solid run. If I had known we were going to be playing it that way, it would have been slightly different. But I I really wanted to make fire dance work, but man is that awkward. Somewhat awkward. But still still a good run. The the combination of dark defiance with hunter's formula was definitely uh definitely an interesting one. Ah, good run, good run. All right, so that's gonna do it for me. Uh, still some more bits and pieces to uh, to figure out here to get everything working. But I really like the new camera angle. I think it's pretty good. We had uh, we had some good runs today. Uh, thank you again to uh, Chris Veggie for uh, for paying it forward and giving a gift sub in return for getting a gift sub. And, uh, yeah, thank you again to Jiho for the follow. Back tomorrow, doing another challenge run in the last spell. But for now, I got a few things to tinker with here and there and everywhere. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back doing this thing again tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Catch you later. I, I think it's I think it's a good thing. I, I by the way I, I kind of want to put some wall art here. We'll see. I'm I, I think now we have some wall space to figure it out with. But we'll talk about that on on the Discord. Which as a side note I should do my standard promotion. If you happen to be hanging out and you like what you see, if you're in Twitch land, uh, the YouTube is the best most freest way to support me. And then the discord is a cool place to talk and hang out and chat so highly recommended you go and check that out as well but now for real i'm out